Welcome beautiful people to our 88th national dish, Kyotsupa from Iceland. Alright, so I was really excited to see what Iceland brought to the table because I'm in this new soup journey where I'm trying new soups and lamb is my favorite food. My only complaint is with the English language. How do you call that scum? You gotta find a new word for it. Scum's too bad of a word. And by the way, this is not Iceland's national dish. Iceland's national dish is really complicated to make. We did get to try it and if you stick to the end, you'll see that. Iceland is the safest country in the world. It has no army and police do not carry firearms. So the first country in the world to have a democratically elected female president in the 1980s and the first openly gay prime minister in 2009. Iceland has a very literacy focused culture. One in every 10 Icelanders will publish a book in their lifetime. Between 30 and 40% of Icelanders believe in elves. According to Jules Verne, the entry to the center of the earth is in Iceland. Iceland runs in 90% green energy. And now for a tasting of the true national dish, Halkart. My friends Tamara and Chris, which you can see in this video on this taste test, were gracious enough to find this dish on the internet and bring it over to my house for a taste yeah. test. Whoa. It's a oh, good dude. start so, and then it gets worse. This delicacy consists of fermented shark which they live underground for a couple of months and they hang to dry for a couple more months. An acquired taste to say the least. Really bad. If Anthony Bourdain described fermented shark as the single worst, most disgusting and terrible tasting thing. But different people have different tastes. Kind of an interesting flavor. Jeff Gordon Ramsay tried to eat it twice on TV and neither of the times he could keep it down. You wanna try some Are you sure it's the three? Yeah. Really hope you like this video, so share, comment, like, subscribe. Goodbye.